Generic greetings and welcome back to Dormkeeper. Today's beverage is a very nice chilled lemon and lime. So welcome back to the game. In the previous video we were looking at the artillery dome which has immediately uh, cemented its status as my official favourite dome in the game thus far. However, will the Tesla dome uh, change that? So we're going to go back and we might as well change our pet and maybe change this suit because, well, why not? And um, yeah, standard shield mode I think. Let's just proceed to the run and see what this has to offer. So it does work well, it does work different to the artillery dome naturally um <laughs> <laughs> but it has some interesting upgrades which we'll check out as soon as we do our uh, touchdown here and there we go so we're gonna go over straight away to this it's a very pointy dome and we do obviously have things like our engineer level ups and things like that but then we have our tesla uh upgrades so it is it induce the marvel electricity to whatever is out there or introduce should i say preferably to the first several thousand volts it says we got our rectical speed because we move it around Quick shot, so it says uh, you can fire a single weaker shot by tapping the shoot button. We got the shot power, we got auto aim, and then the electro orb. It says each shot leaves an electro orb that deals damage over time, so you can lace the ground with those. You then got um, more orbs, we've got depth effects, we've got persistent extra timings and shot powers. Okay, that's um, intriguing to say the least. Let's go down and start the mining operations. Already we've got some resources here, which is good to see. Double resources, as long as that gives us level 4, we should be able to uh, do our upgrades. So yes, we're going to go straight up and naturally stick with the default upgrades that I tend to go with, which is, I don't only go straight away for mining, it's just drill strength, uh, was it 2 to 6, and that's uh, that's great there. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pick these up and bring them back. We're so close to the bit of the dome here, and I don't want them dropping down any further that <laughs> would not uh, be desirable as a trait so already this material is weak and wow just like the previous video we have been granted a bit of a little extra bonus here in the form of the very first upgrade let's see if it's as useless as the other one <laughs> sorry it the other one wasn't useless um it told us the distances to resources, but the way we mine, it's yeah, it doesn't really much matter. So we have a spire. It's a defensive spire that shoots down incoming projectiles, and a probe, which is adds a probe to your suit, which triggered sends out a pulse. I'm gonna go with spire because well, I've never actually seen it in anger in the in the game, so we'll see what that's like. There's a bit of cobalt there, and there's a bit of water. That's uh, the four resources we have total that we can carry. Sadly, it didn't. Uh, afford us any additional of the square resource to upgrade and there we go and because we are quite close to the surface I'm gonna just do a little mining operation down this side just to see what we've got nothing of great note okay we'll head back and we will use the tesla dome for the first time here so we want to get back on this and go to battle and we have this thing we can move around and we charge it up and zap okay yeah so we're definitely charging that up and zap and there was that fight over with so you move it around and you can then choose where you want to zap uh, or what, what you want to zap, <laughs> what enemies you would like to zap, and there you go, it works. Okay, good, we've now been given enough resources for a further upgrade, which is going to be almost certainly the carry strength. I just realised that we've got like a cocoon type thing on the on the right hand side when we go in, and it uh, sort of closes the door. It's pretty nice. Alright, let's go down. So, obviously I've missed that bit on the right hand side there, but I'll dig down and then dig back up. Oh, we've got a fairly tough exterior on this bit here so maybe I don't go any further because it's just going to take too long especially when I'm going to the next level which is that slight different colour ah and uh, good we went this way oh perfect we've got a lot of resources here so let's bring this back we are struggling um, <laughs> we are, are indeed struggling here come on we'll get that other one we will get back in time I think yeah we should be okay and with the one, two, four, what was it, seven, I think we've got there, that'll give us enough for a couple of upgrades. The first upgrade we're going to go with is going to be the speed for our suit. And we've only just got back in time, to be fair, haven't we? Only just there. And we'll go for upgrades. And it's going to be the suit speed. 
followed by Electro Orb, isn't it? It's going to have to be Electro Orb. And over to battles. There we go. Um, when you charge, by the way, it does slow that down. So um, oh, over here, let's charge and zap. Okay, and it leaves the Electro Orb around. Let's just charge this up and zap. And I wonder if our... Yeah, I was going to say, will that stop the incoming projectiles? So... Oh, that's great. So the Electro Orb did a couple of things there. It managed to take out the creature down the bottom, but slows them down as well. Uh, yeah, our anti-projectile anti solution system was working perfectly well there. It uh, took some out, but it does take a little bit of time to charge. Okay, so we've immediately got some nice upgrades here. Or nice, um, some nice resources. I think what we'll do is, with everything in mind, we'll head back and... We'll drop this off. Why not? And, well, I am just going to dig down a bit. Because we've got, obviously, our drill strength at a fairly decent level now. Level 2, anyway. But, yep, yeah, the surface has changed somewhat. Alright. I just dig down until it's becoming a bit difficult to do so. Which is about here. Oh, we're still able to go down. And that's going to be a bit tough now, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, there you go. It's even, even easier now because of this sort of loose gravel. At least it's not Minecraft gravel. <laughs> right, okay. We're going to have to head back. Um, <laughs> we've got free water in tow. And there's a very deep shaft. But we'll, we'll do probably the same again on the left-hand side. Let's just see what the game has in store for us for this wave. Uh, any upgrades that we can get now? We got seven. Uh, no, I think I'm going to go for the drill strength two, but that requires a bit more. So we'll just we'll just wait. So we're going to go into fighting, and we've got the enemy there. So zap, and this one up the top here, and zap. No. Um, if you don't fully charge it, by the way, it does absolutely nothing until you get the uh, one of the upgrades. So there we go. There's that zapped. And that, is that it? That, oh, that is it. Wow. Okay, that is um, curious. I said I was going to do another dig. Um, on the on the bottom, but I think we'll just dig a little bit to the left, see what we can find. What we can find is some hard material. Oh, and some much needed upgrade resources. Can we bring all of this back in one go? No, it would just be pointless. Trying to bring that back in in tow, in all of that would just slow us down to an absolute crawl. So we're going to just clear these out. That will afford us drill strength too. Yeah. Yes, I think we'll go with that. And there we go. Uh, just over half time left, so yeah, we can we can do another dig. So we'll go down this way. Okay. And we'll gather those resources. Oh, might as well dig down here. Why not? And I'm going to dig down. Hopefully, my plan is to dig down to the same level as the other side. Although that mission has been aborted now that we've got more resources here. Oh, and there's some, some there as well, further up. Oh, that's really tough. Right, I'm going to have to bring these back. Uh, I'm going to drop them. We need to get back. In fact, this is going to be... Our dorm's going to get hit. I've uh, waited a bit too long, I think. Like the artillery dome, you can get on the straight away and you fire. But obviously this thing, it requires you charging as well. Uh, any upgrades that we can get... We've got this, Electro Orb. I'm going to go with, what's this, Nature? Nurture. Uh, strengthen an existing Electro Orb by shooting it again and then grows in size and will stay longer. Oh, let's get that. Let's go to battle here. Um, and I'm going to fire the orb here. Oh, there you go. See, I didn't fully charge it. So that's been, that's gone off. And that's gone off. And I didn't charge it again. Yeah, that's the problem with that. But you can see there that what we can do... Is that it? That is it, yes. We can very easily just set that going, put the orb down, and then you can just leave it. You don't have to do anything. You can just leave it as is, which is very useful. So let's just dig down here. We know we've got some resources on the left-hand side, but that's all right. It's not a problem. Just digging down to meet up with our other bit here. You see, it's only one hit as well. 
And this, oh, that's actually, I think that's the bottom of the level. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought we'd have reached that at this stage, but there you go. This is really tough material, this thing. So, let's grab these. Oh, it's even more here. So the question is, do I grab this and head back, or do I... Can I head back at this speed? Oh, it's going to be painfully slow, but I think we can do it. Yeah. Yes, I think we can. Okay. Excellent. I've neglected the right-hand side a little bit. I think it would be fair to have a dig out there. And that unintentionally rhymed. Do I want to remove some of this and go diagonal? I think I do. Just slows down a bit, but and there we go. I might have to drop some of this. Or do I just accept that the dome's going to get hit? Yeah, I'm just going to accept the dome's going to get hit. Although we might get back just in time. No, we didn't. We'll be okay, though. Hopefully. Oh, that's another flyer. Two flyers, in fact. Okay, let's go for... In terms of upgrades... Um, I'm going to go with carry strength and over to battle. So I'm going to charge this on the left-hand side, knowing that that's where they're going to head anyway. So, boom, and boom. All right. Probably should have left those for another day, but I'm actually going to head down now, because you have a feeling that... I going to say, is it not doing it? Now well, I'm going to have to repair. My fault. Okay. I was hoping that the orb would take that out, but it did not. All right, fair enough. That's, that's fine. Let's continue exploring and, oh yeah, resources straight away. Let's, uh, let's bring those four back. That won't afford us any upgrades, but at least we can dump that there. And that goes. I'm going to clear some of this off as well. And it's digging down here. So, a very quick dig. There's some cobalt there. It's only one. I'll continue on. So, let's have an exploratory mission down here. And we have indeed got an upgrade. Excellent. And we'll bring that back with us. I'm actually going to head to the left. And then up. And that's going to get us even more resources. And even more resources. And even more resources that I... Can I bring that back? Only just. I'm struggling here. <laughs> yes. Oh, and there's some... There's some water. Oh, come on. We're going to get back a bit late. But we're, we're, we're all right. We're all right. That will be enough for a further upgrade. But upgrade what? I'm tempted to get... Well, I don't know. It depends what this upgrade is, actually, because this may give us, like, a another weapon of some kind. We don't know. We've got a probe or the prospecting meter. Um, we get probe. Why not? And there we go. So, we can go for upgrades, and naturally it's going to be a suit speed. And can we get... We've got rectical speed. We've also got Electro Blast. Let's get Electro Blast. That'll, that'll be okay. So immediately we have a target on the right hand side and zap. And we'll zap it again. Oh, and this is absolute, this is going to be um, easy mode. Ah, it's, I mentioned about there. <laughs> if you charge it up too early, the rectangle just goes it's, it's ridiculously slow. Come on. Fire. Yeah, okay. We've now got some targets coming in. Can I activate this in time? I think that should do. And that's it. Right. Okay, so apparently we have this probe now. So I can activate it at the press of a button. I'm going to um, go down here. Yeah, it was down here, but we were going back up, weren't we? And let's connect those up and we'll go up here. See if there's anything to find. Probably not, but it's always worthy of uh, exploration. That's fine. Nothing there. Uh, we'll go back down. So 
so similar to what we've experienced down here. There's some nice resources. Oh, loads of resources. All of the resources. It's a big, it's a big lump of resource, but it's um, it's actually quite empty. Is that like four or five we dug out there? Still a nice haul. Still a very good haul. <laughs> some sort of dancing mushroom on the right hand side there. Interesting. Um, let's just. We're not going to be doing another digging mission, so we might as well just clear off some of this while we're here. And I think next time we're going to have a look on the left hand side just to mix it up a little bit. I don't know what upgrade we can get. Probably something to do with shields. I will repair the dome because it is in need of repair. We can go with extra shield strength or we can go with persistent orbs. The electro orbs are larger and more persistent, staying for longer. I'm going to go with... Oh, I can't go shield strength. I haven't got the water. Maybe... Maybe rectical speed, actually. Or quick shot. No. Shot power. Which is general shot power. Shot power and speed. Why not? So, that is... Oh, it's moving a bit quicker. I like the look of that spire there on the, on the right-hand side. Looks nice. Okay, so where are we going to go from here? Oh, okay, so right-hand side, we'll charge this up and zap. And that is that taken out immediately. And zap. And that's that taken out immediately. And zap. Oh, okay, this rectical speed is actually... Um, it's a it's an upgrade I didn't expect to be as good as it is because... Yeah, it's just... It's just it seems obvious now, but yes, it's actually really good. <laughs> Means we can zip the stuff around when uh, we need to. All right, let's have a dig on the on the left here. So naturally, we're looking for the main relic. Oh, there's water and cobalt. That's actually good. So we're looking for the the artifact now, the main artifact or relic, as I've been calling it. The terms are fairly interchangeable. We know what we're on about. And with the changing of the ground here, oh, that's actually at the bottom now. I'm just going to work our way back. Oh, right, this, this is going to prove difficult, potentially. Don't really want to dig through this because I know it's hard material, but we've got plenty of time. Yeah. Find anything? No, we have not. Okay. So we've... We've sank these shafts deep into the ground and uh, seen all manner of things. But it's going to be, I guess, oh, got a bit more time here. We're just going to have to keep exploring, really. We'll be going this way, maybe. Could, could dig down that way, something like that. Anyway, I'm not going to go any further because obviously we do have uh, the time against us. So we'll just head this way and dump that. Okay, so what upgrades can we get? Uh, nothing. We, we can literally get no upgrades. No upgrades at all, sadly. Um, so let's just go for the first fight here. Yeah, oh, it looks like the uh, creatures are on the right hand side. These, these quick wavy ones. Yeah, that's cool. Wait, that's all right, and we'll go for activate. That's that dead. I'm gonna wait for this thing to fly. Oh, there's so many on the um, on this side here. Can we get can we get them? We can get some from the ground. The thing is, we do have our laser defense as well. So yeah, that didn't hit. Yeah, our laser defense is um, able to take out these projectiles. So there we go. Is that done? Yes, that is done. Although we have taken considerable damage actually on the on the dawn there. Okay, more digging and the end of the game eyes on the prize, let's head down um, we know it's not going to be around here because it has to be at a fairly decent depth but uh, well immediately, <laughs> I didn't even finish the sentence, I was going to say it's fairly decent depth but we are also still looking for resources and well we've just found all of the resources there which is good so we'll head back get an upgrade and almost certainly going to be a shield upgrade, I should Acknowledge as well that um, I'm very 
<laughs> terrible at not using the things that we uh, we have. So I haven't used the I haven't used the the uh, what pulse. So there's the pulse. So there are there is something over here. What is it? Water. Okay, fine. So realistically. Where I'm digging now, this is where we're probably going to find the relic. The artifact. In fact, there it is. There you go. <laughs> um, and whatever that is as well. What is that? I have no idea what that is. But I'm looking forward to finding out. There are some... I don't know what we can do. What is that? It's a thing. We know it's a thing. Alright, so... We can bring that back, but this we can't. So where do where would I put that? Would I put it there? Is it a bomb? Yes. I think it just went right down. That's interesting. Um, let's just get that level up. Uh, sorry, that um, refreshment. What do we want for mining? Uh, for upgrade, should I say? Well, it's going to be... That stun effect... That's persistent orbs. You know what? It's it's game, isn't it? We know for a fact that this is um, the last fight. Because we know where the artifact is. So let's just get drill strength. And there we go. And I think I get both of them here. No, just missed. And there's that done. All right, let's uh, let's finish this. Simple head down south, and we know it's down to the right. So I'll dig across, and we just need to follow the arrows essentially. What well, arrows is like a little yeah, some like cabling. And there we go. There's the there's the. Fact. Perfect. Deep in the ground. And the other one, to activate this, is on the left. Um, pulse. There it is. And that's that activated. And we did find some more on the left. But there's no need, because we've got this thing. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's bring it home. Good. Okay. So, that's been a bit of Dome Keeper. Looking at the Tesla Dome. Interesting. The fact that there's been two domes added, just as free content, is just... I mean, that's just really good, isn't it? And I like that... I like the I like the, the difference in them. Like, he's got shot power, he's got timings, persistent knobs. It, it's very different from the Artillery Dome. And, oh, hang on, what is that? That's an interesting creature. What is that? Don't know what that is, but um, it's charging something up. Uh, let's keep hitting this. But we can keep charging these dorms up. I don't know how we would um, kill these things here. I think you can just tip them like that. Uh, they're just teleporting off. I do think the dome is about to explode. Uh, it's, I think this egg is getting cracked, yeah. But, oh, there we go. Just keep charging the domes up. Wow. Uh, sorry, the, yeah. You can just keep charging these orbs up. And obviously, that's going to cause loads of damage and stun effects. And just keep hitting them. This thing's really tough, whatever this is. Um, upgrades. Might as well repair the dome once. I think I've killed that one. I think this is it. I think this is just this last creature. <laughs> I can imagine charging up the domes to a ridiculous level would be very powerful indeed. This thing's tough as well. And this was wave 10. I think the previous one we managed to get it at wave 12, I think it was. And there it is. Nice. All right, that's been a bit of Dome Keeper. 
with Sure Mine. Oh, you can reveal resources. Let's have a look. Didn't know this was a feature. Yeah, that's been the that's been the Tesla Dome. Overall, then, out of the two, I prefer the artillery one. But I like that. Well, I like that both exist. Put it that way. Oh, look at the resources on the left that we missed. Well, and on the and oh yeah, there's this huge, there's this huge amount of resources on the left. Um, and I definitely wasn't at the bottom of the mine. I thought we were in the middle in the middle but no there's, there's, there's a big chunk there either way that has been a bit of Dormkeeper. nice to see let's say the additional content uh, and support for it i have not yet tried the assessor as the keeper and i'm probably going to do so on the artillery dome with all of the shields good i imagine having the, uh, the orchard maybe Bus movement and mining power. I actually prefer the shield. It just gives that little extra thing. Obviously, we've been playing on the standard relic hunt mode with um, normal difficulty. There's also hard and brutal, and we got a meet. We're on a small map. Medium realistically is what we're going to do next. But I just wanted to try uh, the new domes and show you what they're like. But uh, yeah, hope you have enjoyed it. If you like what we see, by all means, let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>